Hey everybody, Boris also BK Force. Welcome to the crosses section for May 22nd through May 26th, 2017. And the old game of majors versus com dollars still remains, I think, the absolute bread and butter trade in the crosses. Although some interesting uh, differential setups are, are starting to happen. The one interesting intra, um, intra com dollar cross, in my opinion, is the Aussie dollar. Let's take a look at some of the ideas that I have for the week and then we'll take a look at the charts in more detail. So, Oddcad to me is clearly an interesting trade on, on the CAD strength that we're starting to see uh, with continuation possibly all the way to parity. Um, at this point, we're about 60, 70 points away from parity, and I think it's reasonable if, if we get further CAD strength to achieve that um, on a technical basis as well as just the fundamental one. So that as an intra com dollar play is probably the most interesting one as we start the week. Now, Euro Pound is actually interesting from both angles. So clearly we saw end of the week pound strength and there's definitely some potential here for, for a mean reversion trade. However, as I go to print right now, um, the latest news out of UK is that the Tories are losing their monstrous lead against a labor. And if indeed we get to a situation where the market starts to worry that Tories are Good going to lose sort of an impossible idea that they're going to lose, but but perhaps even a worse scenario where they come in with a win that is smaller than the one they currently have, it'll truly be a case of with Theresa May snatching the victory from the jaws or snatching defeat from the jaws of victory to uh, to put it properly. And I wonder if that could uh, begin to weigh on um, a pound again. Euro pound still looks to me like a very very strong upside trade, and this pound could really, really turn back down if the Tories start to weaken into next week with political uh, polls starting to really hit the tape. So very much worth watching on that cross trade. And then the last one idea, the Euro Aussie trade with 151 to the resistance, support of 149, still looks good to the upside. This is still basically a Euro continuation trade um, and definitely looks positive on the charts. Let's take a look at the uh, charts in more detail and I'll show you what I mean. So let's first start with the odd CAD. Um, this is a weekly, um, even on the weekly, it looks relatively decent because you have a, a close on the lows of the uh, of the week with still the parity number very much in, in view. And of course, a series of lower highs, momentum to your side. But if we go to the dailies, you'll see this a little bit more clear, a more granular basis. You see how we're just sort of rejecting continuously the, uh, the, the, the pops above the 101. And that sort of suggests that a break of the uh, uh, 150 really opens up the move towards parity. Now, parity itself is definitely support, but from here to parity, there's about 70 pips here in a very slow, very nice moving trade that can definitely be achieved as the week progresses. Now, here's Euro Pound. So, Euro Pound definitely coming up against the uh, uh, 86 resist point, and it's reasonable to think that that's probably going to be a decent point of mean reversion where uh, the trade could turn back towards 85, perhaps even 84 support. On the other hand, a break above 86 really convincingly puts us on path towards 87. There is not much resistance here um, in any way, shape, or form. And this is interesting because I think this is sort of the continuation idea of, first of all, unambiguous euro strength that we're seeing, but more importantly, perhaps the fake out in the pound if the whole Tory win comes under doubt, as I was just talking about a few minutes ago. So the trade to me probably more interesting here as a breakout trade than as, than as, a, as a rejection trade. Um, and if we're trading 80, you know, 86, 20, 86, 25, you probably want to um, join that move for the move towards 87. The last idea is the Euro odd, which is just simply, I think, a straight up kind of a Euro long trade. This is, this is the uh, dailies. You can see a very, very nice, clean, just continuation um, uh, upside pattern with very, very small retraces as we go forward. So we are hitting a pretty decent resist point here. If I, if I pull out, you can see um, sort of on the chart here, this 150 uh, is, is, is a long, 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 long held resist point over here. So there could be some more um, churn here in front of this level, but a break above sort of 150, 150, 150, sort of a break towards 151 really puts us right, right on path towards 155. It just, it's, it's a very, very powerful one-way trend. Uh, and for now, you don't want to stand in front of it. If you look at the weeklies over here, 
Um, let me just zoom in now just to give you guys a better look. Um, it looks quite good. I mean, the weekly the weekly candle looks uber bullish with uh, with the close near the weekly highs, um, and uh, the resist I guess over here would be what 50, 51, right? So there is there's no doubt that there's a resist here at fifty one, but there still seems to be enough juice here for at least 30, 40 points to the upside um, as we uh, as we open up the week. So momentum trades euro to the upside, I still think, uh, and caddy to the down or caddy to the upside, but the cat crosses um, getting hurt. So odd cat to me as a, as a move towards the parity, an interesting low volatility idea. That's how the week shapes up. It's really very much, as I said, a trade of majors versus versus um, calm dollars still with some intra plays uh, to add a little bit of spice to your week. Wish you guys a lot of luck and a lot of trading. Borch Lansberg, over and out.